Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to ask, who moved my AdMob cheese? Alright, have you ever read that book called Who Moved My Cheese? I mean, it's been around for ages. It probably, I think it came out in the 80s or 90s. I read it back in like 2001, 2002, and it was like, it had a real big effect on me. It's probably one of the first kind of business books I've ever read, but it's, um, and it's not so much a, a, like a business book, like technical, it's more like a, it's a business fable, right? And it's, um, and it, for those of you who haven't read it, I'll try to summarize it a bit, but it's been years since I read it, so I might get a few things wrong, uh, so correct me if, if you have read it and I get something wrong here. So it's about four, I think they were mice or rats, or it may have been people, may, may not have been specified what they were, but you know, for, for this story, let's say they were, were mice, right? So. There are four ma uh, mice. There's a, uh, you know, there's Scurry and Sniff, or Scurry and Scratch, and there's uh, there's Scurry, Scratch, Scurry, Sniff, uh, Ham and Haw, right? So every day they go into this maze and they look for the cheese. So like in a, let's say it's a science experiment, and they run through the maze and they look for the cheese, right? And the cheese is always in the same spot. So every day they get up, they put their shoes on, they head down to the cheese, and they eat all they can, and then they go back and go to bed. And it becomes, you know, you know day in, day out, they do the same thing, you know, over and over and over again, right? So, but after a while, you know, they start to realize that the cheese is just, you know, it's getting smaller and smaller, just, you know, gradually, just, you know, it seemed to be bigger, but now it's getting getting smaller, right? And uh, so at this point is where, where they start to, to, to change, you know, scurry and sniff, you know, each day they'll put their shoes on, they go down to the cheese and they'll, uh, you know, they'll have a bit of cheese, but then they'll go off and explore the rest of the maze, right? They're looking for more cheese, right? And hem and haw, they're telling them how crazy they are. They're saying, look, you've got all this cheese here. You know, why are you wasting your time? And they just go and they, you know, they start moving their houses closer to the cheese because, you know, they're just really dependent on the cheese. And, you know, but scurry and, you know, sc scurry and sniff, which, we we'll forget the two fast ones, right? So the two other mice, they're they're you know running through the maze and they're trying to find new sources of cheese. And every day the cheese is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So Hem and Ha are complaining about the cheese getting smaller. You know what can they do? It's just not fair. Life isn't fair. Why is the cheese getting smaller? And Scurry and Sniff are going out and they're taking advantage of the shrinking cheese, but they're also going out and trying to find other sources of cheese, right? And eventually, you know, one day they wake up and the cheese is completely gone. And Hem and Haw, I guess, I guess they starve. I don't remember the rest of the story. I guess they starve, and then the um, the two other, you know, the two other mice they find the new cheese, and then they continue to always look for the new cheese. And the the point of the story is that you know business is always changing, and you can't be the person who becomes complacent with what's there, and you always have to be out there looking for the new things. Now, the reason I bring this up today is because ad mob revenue is getting really, really bad for me. It just seems to be getting, like the cheese, it seems to be shrinking every day, right? And it doesn't, it's been over the last three or four months. Now, last week I told you how I found a problem in one of my apps, and I thought, that's it. You know, smoking gun, that's it. You know, ugh, I'm so glad, right? The cheese is getting smaller, you know, my RPMs are getting smaller, but I found the reason for it, right? And you know what? That wasn't it. That wasn't it at all, right? So I fixed that issue, right? And it's still, you know, we, you know, even though, you know, we should have started seeing a change, but it's still falling like a brick for me, right? So, and I don't know if this is because the cheese is getting smaller and I have to keep vigilant about everything else. I told you yesterday about the fact that I had this nightmare, and it's, I think it's part of this because I started to, I'm seeing things start to change, and it's it's bothering me a little bit. But I've always been expecting it. Like in my mind, eventually that stuff's gonna dry up, right? And uh, and I got a really good uh, comment on yesterday's video when I talked about my my dream. It was pretty surreal. Uh, from Ihana Moments, he said, "I'm floating in the same boat. The app world is most unreliable field." It could disappear any day, specifically ad mob based revenue. With developer mentality and background, we are putting all our eggs in one basket. We have to expand e-commerce or affiliate or online products and services now. I love what I do, but is that but that is not enough specifically, especially if you have financial responsibilities, family, rent, food, etc. So all right, so I've been thinking about this a lot today. I've been thinking a lot about, you know, 
are things going to start to get worse as we go through? But then I also think about uh, last week I had the I did the video on driving with a parking brake on when I talked about finding this issue with one of my apps and about the RPMs going down and learned, you know, Tom at Learn to Master said he always found July, August to be low ECPM months. The winter months are high ECPM. I think most people in the US, Europe spend less on apps during the summer months and the ECPM reflects this. Last year, AdMob was about the same as this year, but over the course of a few years, it's declined. The peak was way back in 2014, 2015. Use Facebook Audience Network's mediation contingency, and they seem to do better in the summer months. And interested, interested and learned about the other network you talked about, which was AppaDeal, and I still haven't explored that very much yet. So, it could be that we're, re you know, we're just hitting a little bit of turbulence. Things are just kind of getting, getting worse and we're just, you know, it's going to go back up again. Maybe a little bit of a roller coaster thing or the plane is going down. <laughs> I don't know. And this is one of the things that I think about. This is why I think we, you know, focusing, we are focusing a lot more on client work. Now, the thing about this though, it's, it's the RPMs are going down on AdMob. I don't know how they're doing on other ad networks because, you know, just you know, last year, I mean, I've always talked about how I'm a big fan of AdMob. I prefer sticking with them. It seems to pay better than the other ones in my experience, but that could be changing. It could be the time to start dusting off the other SDKs and getting those out there and seeing how they work, uh, you know, in either through AdMob mediation or just dumping AdMob and putting something else in there. But, you know, the cheese is still there, you know, you know I don't know if I want to risk the cheese that I have or, you know, possibly more, you know, I, sorry, I'm taking the analogy in that book too far, right? But, but it is something that I think about all the time. I talked about how that book had a, had a huge effect on me when I, was, you know, when I was first starting out. I mean, I was working in this dingy little company that I couldn't stand, right? And when I left that company and went on to become a contractor, I would always leave a contract after a few years because I started thinking that things were going to dry up, right? Especially with you know, outsourcing and, and offshoring and a lot of jobs being moved to India. This was something when I was contracting, I was always thinking about. I was always thinking about the fact that somebody's going to be able to have, you know, as much experience as me. I mean, maybe not now they don't, but eventually they will and they'll be able to charge a lot less than me and eventually things are going to work. So I'm always building on my skills and all this kind of stuff. And I was always, you know, criticized by other people saying that's never going to happen. And, you know, and in some cases it did where, you know, uh, people were made redundant and there was large, you know, redundancies, you know, because they shipped jobs over to, to India or Poland or whatever. And a lot of times they weren't, it was just, you know, me, you know, jumping before I was pushed and then there was nobody to push me, but it's always something I'm always thinking about. So right now I'm thinking, you know, in the last few days, well, it's been the last few months actually, thinking about is the ad revenue going to be able to sustain us the way that it has? Should we start, you know, focusing more on in-app purchases and, uh, you know, through uh, client work and stuff like that? Now, the thing is, the number of impressions are consistent. See, this is, a, I check the things that I have control over, right? The number of downloads are, are good. The number of impressions are good. You know, it's just the RPMs that, that, are, that are falling, right? And I have my theories for this. And, you know, well, I'll tell you guys what my theory is, right? And again, I'm not an, I'm not an economist. I, I studied history, but this here's what I think. In, in economics, very simplistic, is that whenever, you know, supply outstrips demand, then prices go down. And when demand is higher than the supply, then prices go up. So, you know, you, so right now we have more and more apps going into the ad, you know, into the app market. And so that means we have a lot more ad units to fill. Right. So the same way, you know, when I was a kid, we had, you know, three networks. When I was a kid in the States, in America, we had three major networks and we had a few independent stations. So, you know, if you're going to buy TV time for a commercial, it might be somewhat expensive unless you run it in the middle of the night or something like that for like an infomercial. But so, you, so you'd pay a lot for advertising. But then when cable came in and digital TV, then you have hundreds of channels. Then of course the cost of advertising goes down, right? So this, I think it's the same with, with the ad networks, right? The more apps we have go out there, you know, you can launch a bid with a lot less money. Like I know when I launch an ad mob campaign, like as it, you know, trying to get people coming into my app, I could put a, I could put a click, like a bid for like 
one cents or two cents, right? And it will get impressions. It will, it will go out there. There's, there's enough apps out there, which means that whoever gets that impression on their app, they're going to get very little, very little revenue, right? Because we just have a lot more supply than we did before and probably a lot less demand in the summer. My hope is going to pick back up, but I'm also thinking about other things we could try. And I've talked about some of the different things we've done here. We're focusing a lot more on prospecting and trying to bring in more clients. You know that kind of stuff and uh you know i don't know we'll, we'll see where it goes but i yeah, it's so, so for those of you guys who are having trouble with ad mob at the moment just let you know i am too i know some people commented last week on the video saying that you know things are actually going you know pretty well for them they're not having any issues right so this you know so it could just be you know switching up ad networks all this kind of stuff or maybe it will come back right so this week i'm going to i'm going back home to san diego right so i'm not gonna i'm gonna try not to think about this for a few weeks Right, but you know, hopefully, hopefully everything comes back and I don't have to touch it. But you know, that you know, I'll just ignore it for now and hope everything goes back to normal is never a really good strategy. Anyway, that if you haven't read Who Moved My Cheese, you know, check it out. It's a really good book. And that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.